Okay, uh, welcome along everybody. Uh, I am Craig Gambit Harris again, and this is a brand new series I got going uh, where we explore the, the different metas around Brisbane uh, entitled Out of Your League. Episode 1 is from the, the Guff Infinity League, and with me is Kuso, the leader of the league himself. How you going, Kuso? Hey, Gambit. I'm doing well. Thanks, man. How are you? I'm very well. Okay, so um, this game is between myself and Daryl. Um, I like to call Daryl the architect. He's always got some interesting decks coming out, um, maybe using a few underused cards in really, really interesting ways. Um, so it's pretty standard NEH on my end, and Wizard, you never really know what he's going to be doing. Um, anyway, so uh, tell us about your league. What, what sort of sets it apart? So the Infinity League at Guff, we run all LCGs that are available uh, currently, um, including uh, the Doomtown Reloader from AEG, so... Uh, including that family, so we've got Netrunner, of course, which we're watching here today. We've got Conquest, which you can see on Daryl's mat, and we've got Call of Cthulhu <laughs> on your mat. Yep. And we've also got the, the, the Star Wars uh, LCG, which is uh, uh, pretty good as well, mm -hmm. amongst all of them. So, yeah, we just run them all as one group. You pay your money, you, you sign up fee, and you can play as many yeah, as many games as you want, up to 20 ranked games, um, which uh, you can only score points on ranked games, but you can choose whether to play ranked or not mm -hmm. um, and yeah you can score points score achievements and um, they all go towards your final tally uh, at the end if you get enough points you win and um, obviously win the prizes we've got game night kits and um, yeah it's, it's fun ah, excellent oh here we go um, <laughs> looks like Daryl is face checked sorry and <laughs> talking over the top of it. he's face checking an arch uh, architect right there I um, always love seeing an uh, architect fire, and it looks like it's second or third click, so he can potentially run on whatever that is. And the H, of course, he had the draw on the runner's t turn as well. Um, mm. Yeah, and he still gets the access, which is, I'm assuming, probably not going to be much, because otherwise that would be sort of a silly thing to have happen and let fire. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Well, it looks like that was a bit of a bit of a whiff on the first run, which is fine. You know, can be expected. Um, so, w what's an example of the sort of achievements that um, you've got going on there in in the uh, the Gotham? So, so if, in particular, while we're looking at Netrunner, um, there are six achievements for each for each LCG. Uh, I'll just see if I can bring them up. Um, but for every LCG, we we put in uh, the first one, which is all only worth one point, but. It's a kind of a, a consolation prize, and that's what we've called it. So it's like a uh, lose three ranked games in a row, and you get you get a free achievement point basically. Okay. So yep. it's it's uh, you in it. basically yeah, it's a, it's an achievement uh, in the inverted commas. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if you can do it, well done. If you can do it, then you know, it still sucks. Yeah. But you still get a point for yep. it. So um, yeah, so that's across all LCGs. But for like Netrunner, the uh, the highest score of achievement point you can get is uh, five points mm -hmm. um, which is we, we've called it unsure hedge you know playing on the sure gamble hedge fund kind of thing yep. but uh, to do that you have to win a match with your hand revealed for the entire match so that's corporation and run aside so wow. just throws in a little bit of chaos that which is a bit fun that is insane oh my that's just oh that's that's ballsy um, <laughs> yeah, so it's it's a little a little harder for the corporation side, not so not so totally much for the runner. Yeah, but, but definitely like yeah. that hidden information not being hidden anymore is huge. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, so so yeah, if if you, if you can pull it off, it's worth five points, and that's a that's a big boon for you. That is, I'm gonna have to give that one a go. Oh, but I, I imagine that would be strongest probably out of your your classic Genteki P sort of trappy decks where no matter what you see in the hand, you don't want to touch it anyway. Exactly, yeah. So it's kind of that information. You don't re you don't really care if they know where... Like with Jinteki, you play Celebrity Gift and you show them your information anyway. So 
you know, if you can do that and um, still gain a lot of cash and put out some ice, then you're pretty well good. Mm -hmm. I guess as long as you've got, yeah, as long as you've got your HQ locked down and I guess archives against the sneak door, uh, you wouldn't have a huge amount to to worry about. And and I guess um, those accesses on HQ, they wouldn't be revealed. That's still a that's still a crapshoot, is it? Yeah, exactly. So you just put it on the field while you're playing. Yeah. Obviously, if you do, if you make an access on HQ, HQ, then you pick them all up, shuffle them, and then you choose. Because obviously, that has to be random, still yeah. in the framework of the game. But, yes. Um, yes. You can't just go. That, yeah, I'll that steal would, that agenda, please. Yeah, that, but, that would yeah. break. That would break things. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So. Okay. Yeah. If anyone wants to take that achievement, we'll, um, we'll work it work it out. Yeah. As we go. Okay. So, um, cool. Guff, whereabouts would I find Guff? Guff you'll find in the Fortitude Valley in Brisbane. Uh, we are you know, on the Brunswick Street Mall upstairs. Um, it's an internet cafe as well, so if you're ever bored between rounds or if you ever find yourself stranded without internet access, you can get to Guff and um, play a few games there or play a few card games. So it's, it's good. Yeah. It's a nice central location near the train station as well. And I guess a plus side also being an internet cafe, if you go to one of their store championships um, and you don't have your deck list, you can always print it out there on the day. Precisely. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... All for the benefit of the runners. Yes. Yes. All right, so we've got a couple of prepaid voice pads there, uh, John Massonori as well, and a Corroda. Pretty light rig so far. Sure, Gamble moneying up. Mm. Uh, I think I saw a Dirty Laundry yep. earlier. I'm assuming it's probably on archives, as neither of those face-down cards have been flipped. Mm, and he wouldn't want to do a do laundry on that architect again. No. So, yeah, that makes sense. Yes, yes. Now, he did inject ditching a mimic, which is heartbreaking, especially against architect. <laughs> like, oh, that. Mm. Uh, but, you know, being an arch, it's got to have that, um, that recursion mm. in there. Just snagging an NAPD contract mm -hmm. there. Trying to sneak that one out behind a pop-up window. Uh, it's very ballsy. Well, it's uh, it's five credits for for two points, so it's 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 not not yeah, too bad of a trade as far as tempo goes. Was my thinking, I think. Um, though I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure that I can't keep doing that. Okay, which no. looks <laughs> yep that makes sense. Like you're just doing right now. Okay, something. <laughs> yep, I I can't remember what those are, but something that I would like to be safe. Okay, dirty laundry archives, perfect. Getting that full, no. full five credits. Up to five bucks, which yep. is great. All right. Now. Uh, oh, running over here and oh, yeah, that is probably not the strongest maneuver. Leaving that out, being a one pointer, I guess it's not a, not too big of a deal. But anyway, oh, there's there's another mimic. Recover the okay. mimic. Yep. Two credits. Seeing one off me. Goodbye, Jackson. Oh, Jackson. I don't know. He's, he's putting some pressure on you there. Yeah, um, gonna have to do something about that. Um, that R and D soon. Mm. Okay, so a card. Get that draw. Super powerful. Playing that uh, breaking news out naked. But it, 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 were you seeing too many agendas in hand? Are you doing that again here now? Um, I can't remember what those two are. But oh, okay. There's another Jackson. Um, you got um. I think the way I was looking at it is if he doesn't run on it, then that's an easy, you know, uh, advance, advance, tag, kill John Masanori, um, or depending True. on what, what resources are coming out. Um, if he steals it, it's a one point, so no big, you know, noth nothing major going on there. Plus, installing it gets me the draw of it being a new remote. Yeah, exactly. It's all value add. Yeah. Um, still, it, it's not great being three points down. Um, this far into the game, Con especially at considering though he did have to pay the four bucks for the NAPD, uh, five, and he got a credit out of it with the NAP with the pop-up window. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, how many sort of plays do you get for each of the different, I guess, games? Like, is is there a lot of overlap happening there? Like, I guess, okay, we can sort of see Daryl. Uh, probably plays a bit of Conquest himself. Um, probably uh, looks at things, yeah. Um, and I, I, I did play a couple of games of Cthulhu against Toby to get that, Matt. Yep. Um, so yep. there's a, a lot of lot, lot of cross-pollination, do you find? Um, yeah, there's a few busy bees uh, to play on that pun. Mm. Um, 
there's uh, I don't know, probably about half a dozen or so that are committed across at least two LCGs, mm-hmm. uh, na- namely um, Conquest and Netrunner. Yep being the most popular um, and then you've got the likes of uh, like myself I play uh, three I play Star Wars Conquest and Netrunner yep. uh, there's, an, there's another couple of those as well um, and then we've got the standalones who, who really stick to their own one game which is like you said Toby he plays Cthulhu yep. quite a lot mm-hmm. um, but he's starting to spread his fingers out into Doomtown as well now yeah. so yeah um, the, the idea of this league is to uh, um, where we incorporate all of all the LCGs into one league is that, that you can experience the other games hmm. you can play them um, get an idea whether you want to join them and yeah. also there are achievement points around playing another game mm-hmm. um, within the league for a ranked game so yeah it's it's all about getting all the players across all the games and just having fun really mm-hmm. across all the games yeah um, yeah in my experience everybody is super friendly and with the 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 different games just giving them a go that you know most people have got um a spare deck that they're they're willing to let you play with and teach you the ropes um if you need to learn it and yeah it's it's always a lot of fun and these new achievements for this for this league sound like it's going to be bonkers yeah we uh after the last league we got a we got some feedback from the players and it was kind of oh these, these were a little too easy or mm. for this this game it was a little too hard so we're trying to balance it out and um make all of them a little, quite a lot harder and make make the achievements uh less so there's not as many achievements yep like last league we had i think there were 10 10 per game or 12 per game mm. or something that's and we had, a lot to keep track of you know, we, Exactly, yeah, especially if you're playing three games like myself. So, um, However, you can only score achievements for one game, so it's, it, it does help narrow it down even, even further now. So, um, yeah, so the achievements... Um, oh, you're just scoring a breaking news there. And, yep, yep, and... Going to tag, kill something, I think. Going to kill... DLR. Yep, because I don't want to get... Oh no! Kill okay. Wanna. Kill John yeah. Masanori because he's the one that's going to give you the tag. Yep. From our cool. successful runs. Um, yeah. But yeah, the, the, the achievements are. Um, sorry, Mike. Uh, the video is just playing up. But yeah, so yeah, the achievements are, are there for fun and um, just um, make it a bit a uh, bit more difficult, but. Um, mm-hmm make it more creative in the way people play their decks to be able to score these higher point achievements yeah no sooner is John Masanori gone he's back again (laughs) alright um yeah I really can't wait to dig deeper into this league um like you know I've I've played at at I think I've played at three of the different leagues around Brisbane and I'm going to get to to all of them for this uh, series of videos, just to sort of, you know, just mm-hmm. explore what everyone else is doing and, and how the, the different metas are shaping up. Um, yeah. Oh, a siphon coming out. Now, this is this is a very smart move here from Daryl because siphon, if I stop him, he gets the tag from John Masanori. If I let it through, he gets 10 credits and two tags. So mm-hmm. DLR is on either way. Um, and here it comes, mill, mill, mill. One, two, three. Will I leave it on the table for yep. a turn? I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, I, I probably no, should have. No, the the amount of times that I forget to kill DLR. Okay, there it goes. Yep. <laughs> the amount of times that I forgot to kill a DLR <laughs> is um, embarrassing, to say the least. Yeah, it's. I've done it. I've done it exactly the same as you against Daryl. I've left it on the table. Whoops, forgotten. And they go another four cards for that turn. But, <laughs> you know, it happens. It does. It does. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it looks like it's a pretty standard sort of game. Uh, Daryl's putting on some, some pretty heavy, I guess, milly sort of pressure going on there. Um, he's pressuring a few of the remotes. What do we got? Another pop-up. Just increasing the tax on the... Ooh. Yep, on the remotes, well, on, on the, the asset trashing. He's got those three recurring yep. credits, but anything to make it more expensive, you know, is always always good. Yeah, exactly. Okay, now, 
Looks like Daryl doesn't have an answer for the quandary just yet, but being Anarch could be Yogg being the best answer for most code gates all the time, always. Yep. And <laughs> there goes another build. Yep. Uh, and you've still got that token on the Astro I as do. well, so you're on the math point. Yeah. That is correct. It's um, it's a very strong position to be in. Mm -hmm. um, like especially with that red sand sand. He's got a, yep. He's going in to do something about that. And pop up. There's that tax again. <laughs> <laughs> and a quandary. Look, one. Uh, stop dead in his tracks. Uh, two two bucks. Two bucks to keep him out because it costs an extra buck to install the pop up. An attack from Masanori, yep. which is always nice. Yes. If only well, it was a kill deck. Really matter. He, he plays the tag. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Okay, uh, Eli there, which he can get through, but it's going to cost him, or he can click. Oh, no, he's only got the one click, so he's going to be paying through, which I don't click? think he can. Uh, no, he doesn't have enough. Okay, so I'm assuming there's probably a strong chance that they are agendas in, in archives there. Um, now... What have we got coming up now? Okay, counting out my clicks. Yep, okay, I'm pretty sure that Daryl ran on... Yep, Daryl ran ran R&D, saw what was happening. That's why he made the run on the Sand Sand, because he has to put that to death. But still, there is not a lot that can be done. Install. Nope. Yep, advance once. Everyone points advance twice with the Astro, and that's that game. That is it. That was that was a very quick game. Um, Three agendas. Yeah, yeah. There was. Oh no, two agendas and an biotic. Yeah, that. Um, yeah. Um, it's an awesome DLR. Yes, it was. Yeah, I was uh, uh, rather nervous when when that one went off. To be honest. Okay. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah. Guff is is a it's a nice store. Like you said, they've got the computers um, there. Like. They've got all sorts. It's such an active store as well. There's always something going on there most nights. Like I think uh, last league there was a was a My Little Pony tournaments on yeah, the same that, night as this that's one. Right. Oh, what night? What yeah, night is to... the uh, Infinity League at Guff? Uh, that's that. a good question. <laughs> so we are Tuesday nights on uh, yeah, at Guff every Tuesday. Um, you know, rain, sh uh, rain, hail, or shine. Um, particularly heavy rain. Oh yeah. Um, uh, which we do have videos coming up later on in regards to conquest or championship. But aside of that, uh, yeah, we, we start about four o'clock on Tuesdays and we run through till close time mm -hmm. um, if people are willing to stay around till then, which is around about eleven o'clock. Yep. So seven solid hours of LCGs, and I'm usually there from four four thirty. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah. All are welcome. All. Are, more than happy to teach anyone any games and just have fun. Yeah, like um, get people from all over the place. Like um, there's people from all the way from Karana Downs. There's people from um, you know just around the Brisbane area, like the, the 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 central city area. Like a lot of people come straight from work. Um, yeah, that's usually the case. Mm. Uh, but yeah, we we do get people from. Um, quite north, uh, like you said there was quite west down at Corona Downs, there's ones uh, quite north as uh, you know, Nunda and uh, whatnot, mm -hmm. uh, which isn't too far, but it it can be can be quite a slog through that peak hour traffic mm -hmm. after work, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, but so it, it's good that people do make the effort to come down, mm -hmm. um, play the games they love, and hang out with people they, they enjoy playing games yep. with. Yeah, it's, it's always great having a, a great place to play a great game with great people. Great, great times, classic hits. <laughs> uh, that is not sponsor. Okay, so no, no. <laughs> okay, it looks like we're we're almost ready to start the second half of this game. Uh, we've got Max, the new hotness, um, and a very fancy-looking Genteki personal evolution deck coming out of Daryl. Oh, the bane of my existence. I the bane yeah, of my existence. I am not a huge fan of. In techie decks, I just find it mentally taxing. Um, yeah, playing those mind games with the shell game. Mm. Sometimes, I know Daryl loves to do it. Yeah. He'll have three traps in hand, and or he'll have an agenda and two traps in hand, and he'll just uh, shuffle them all, and then just place them out on the field. He, he has no idea where they are. So, yeah. what, what chance do I have? Uh, <laughs> which is fun. It's a, it's a good way to play yeah. it. Um, but you know, mm. I it's 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 
just another aspect to Netrunner. Oh, there we go. Um, I believe that is an achievement from the first week of the league. Correct. Uh, being uh, Easter. Bring in some eggs or share some eggs or wear some uh, some Easter bunny ears and you get a free achievement point. Mm. So I think uh, everyone scored on that one, which is good to see. Yeah. We saw, uh, had uh, Lynn and Nick up the back playing... Um, <laughs> I think it was Conquest, yep. with their flashing bunny ears. Uh, yeah, so, uh, was, quite a sight, <laughs> quite a sight. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Daryl just starting off there with a hedge fund, which is always good mm, to see. Strong start, and ice, and ice, classic. Everybody loves to see it, and especially against Max, it's, well, there's a keyhole, first cut off the top, yep. into archives, oh, well? sorry, into the uh, trash, heap, into the, the heap. heap. Yeah, got to love that flavour on all the bits and pieces, um, which is always a strong manoeuvre. Icing up the R&D against, well, I guess everybody. Okay, uh, pretty sure I just ran archives. Oh, yep, so I've got John Massonori and DLR online. Well, Wait a minute, I've seen this before. <laughs> yes, yes it's, a, it's a little bit of a mirror um, of the last game. Okay, and that hole in defence has been closed. Sorry, John. Okay, mill, mill, and draw. It's such an amazing ability that that free card. Well, mostly free yeah. card. Like, it's mostly free. Yeah. Especially with the recursion straight out of Anarch, we got the retrieval runs, which is just great. Like three bucks for whatever breaker. Um, a lot of the Anarch ones aren't super expensive. I know Yog is five, but um, oh, there we go. Day job. Job enough. Yep. My favorite card art. Um, Though oh yeah, mine too. The, the burst is strong. It like I, I'm I'm never sure what I should be doing when when day job comes up because having that extra <laughs> ten well ha having ten credits is great, but giving the corp a turn to just sit back and take it easy is always um always a bit nerve wracking. It is yeah, especially uh, with this guy where he's playing traps galore, yep. and you don't know what he's holding in hand, what he's putting out mm -hmm. on the field, albeit it's only Jackson. But you know, yes. it's always scary. There's the that lovely dental work of Ida um, again. Dem chompers. <laughs> yep, dem chompers. Let's see if we can eat through the ice on HQ. Nope. We got an access. Will it be a snare? Let's hope it isn't because snare makes me. Oh, okay, so Eli. Oh, Sorry, no, he's, he's resident. Yep. Eli. And that is a little bit expensive. That uh, four bucks to get through. Four bucks. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm bouncing off. So just bouncing yep. Taking the tag from John Masanori, and there's yeah, the mill. Mill too. Cool. That's a nice play. I like that. Hmm. It, oh, well, that there we go. Uh, there goes DLR. Cost me very. Oh, and Don Masanori as well. Ah, <laughs> uh, poor John. That's uh, costing him four dollars to trash press. Though, that's so true. That's and two clicks, clicks, which is two the, the bigger. Yeah, that's always okay. The two of the three. Crypsis and another day job. I hate to see that econ getting milled, but what you're gonna do? All right. Now I guess at this stage I'm probably hoping and praying that. Daryl isn't running a scorchy, killy sort of deck. There's the keyhole. Oh, there's the keyhole. Everybody, there we go. And of course, turn one, he gets the swordsman <laughs> on R&D, which is amazing. Uh, but is. still getting the still access. Still get the keyhole access. So, yep, still get the keyhole access. So uh, one, two, three cards. Decisions, decisions. Now. Get rid of all the traps. Yeah, but or all, all the ice. Uh, or the econ. What what to choose? Because ice yeah. does nothing without money. Um, if you don't have I think uh, the econ would be a, a decent choice, mm. um, particularly because you, you need that you need that uh, uh, in, uh, that income to power those traps. Yes. Yep. So uh, killing killing a swordsman. Okay. Do you run forked in this deck? Uh, there Do you is... run any other breakers? Yep, so I think there's a forked in uh, in the heap at the moment, and a spoon got milled earlier. And mm -hmm. later on, we are going to see a knife, and I'm pretty sure I misplayed with it. Um, oh, fun. Yes, yes. Like, it, it, it did its job, but I think the expense I paid for it um, was a bit much. 
Okay, so I'm going back in again, and look at that. It is... I've had worse. Straight into the... And he chucks it in archives. his discard part. <laughs> you know, it's easy mistake to make. You're not having this back. No. <laughs> yes, when, when the inevitable levy comes, this is mine. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there goes a psychic field. A psychic field. Which is... Oh yeah, good to get rid of that. Nice. Yeah, losing your whole hand to a Psy game is not much fun. Um, no. If I can avoid a Psy game, I try to. So, Definitely. Yeah, so that's what's happening right there. Okay, so Daryl's got one face down, Rez Jackson. Um, uh, I'm not sure if that means I should have probably been running his hand a little harder to try and um, squeeze out agendas, like maybe he's been flooded. But I'm not sure about that. Okay, looks like we just had a Cerberus. Um, the, there's the Sentry one, I can't remember its actual name out of Anarch. Oh, here comes a Siphon, click, click through the Eli. That would be uh, Kujo. Ah, uh, Kujo, yes. Okay, gaining my 10 and another two tags. So that's three tags mm -hmm. so far. Those sexy, sexy... Um, oh! House of Knives. I'm, Ooh, a little, nice. I'm, I'm actually just a little bit surprised that it wasn't um, stolen last. I mean, sorry, uh, uh, scored. Scored out last time. Yeah. Uh, taking the net damage, which was a short gamble. This is makes me sad. Well, you're not really hurting for cash right now, no. but no, that is that is true. Okay, so click click for two bucks, and. I uh, missed the last thing, maybe draw a card. Must have been a card draw. I think it, he installed, I think. Oh, of course. Yep, because we just stole that one. Yeah, we did. Okay, so two credits. Let's play a fun game called What Can You Do With Two Credits? Um, if that's a trap, uh, it's got no advancement, so a Cerebral's going to do nothing, a Junebug's going to do nothing. Mm -hmm. Psychic Field. Oh, yeah, there's is. Cerebral. Yep. So the free trash. Yep. Uh, so, yep. Psychic Field would be something that would be a pain to hit when someone's on two credits. Uh, ice to res. What do we got? Two credit ice. Uh, what swordsman? Is it swordsman two or three? Th uh, th it's three, uh, yeah. three cost. Three cost, yep. Um, Eli's three and four strength. Okay, so Knight onto the Eli. Yep, and makes sense. We are going to. I can only assume uh, run on the HQ. Yeah. Yep. We're in HQ, costing four bucks. It's not the cheapest way to get in, but it does get you that access. Saves you the clicks. Mm. Well, you still had to pay one for install and one yes. for the movement. But yes. Uh, I believe believe Daryl points that pointed that out um, when I did it. That another free yeah. trap. Yep, June bug. That's uh, one cost, correct? And you take two net damage for each advancement on it. From the yeah, that's the nasty one if you hit it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's what. What's the, one thing I really love about this game is how much the core set really still mm. um, plays a part in this game. Absolutely. It's just it's so consistent. Um, it's a really well designed core set. Absolutely. Really Absolutely. Like it, it's got like the, the cards in the core set. It, like you're saying, super strong. Used two today still like you know there was a count siphon we saw earlier which is straight out of corset got armitage straight out of corset june bug out of corset pe itself as an id even though it wasn't quite as pretty as that one of daryl's coming straight out of the corset like sand sands like the fast advanced pieces were right there from the beginning um so exactly it makes it a astro script yeah exactly Ugh. exactly it's a super strong um corset very easy to get into game netrunner um yeah, exactly. Super easy to get into it. Okay, so... Super fun to learn. Uh, yes, yes. I, I found the hardest thing getting into uh, Netrunner was just the terminology. Like, it, it all adds the extra flavor yeah. with the grip and the heap and the stack um, and the rig. But, like, reading the rule book, yeah, there's a lot of flipping back and forth trying to work out what was going on. Yeah, I can, uh, I can relate to that. Okay, so running on HQ, getting a draw from John Masanori. Um, I've gained an extra click from Joshua B, which I triggered at the beginning of my turn. A snare, which does get triggered, and luckily, had I enough had to just play. enough cards as well. 
and Close yeah, one. and another tag. Uh, that is probably my main weakness as a player is just not drawing enough cards. Yeah, I a little fast and loose at times, especially against trappy decks like Jinteki. Okay. So yeah, it's, um, yeah, I find that happens quite a bit as well. Sometimes you just don't expect these things uh, to influence uh, for snare outside of Jinteki. Oh, of so um, it, it's it's a safe bet that you can say, well, you know, Wayland they usually do play it. Others, uh, MBN usually sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Time. But hey, yeah, you know, it 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 sees a lot of play across all the factions. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's a uh, it, it's one card you always have to be wary of. Yes. Uh, I think here comes the misplay that I was talking about earlier. Boom, there's Knife going through HQ. So I'm spending four credits, but I'm pretty sure... Um, what What does the text on Eli say? Because uh, is it spend a click to break the routines, or do you um, bypass them with those clicks? You, you, uh, you may spend a click to break so I, any separate Yes, team. so for three clicks and one dollar, I could have killed that Eli instead of... However many clicks I spent getting out that night and the four dollars. Okay, there's a siphon again. Um, how much was that one for? Uh, eight, I think. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, Daryl just lost four credits. Another two tags, so we're up to uh, eight, eight tags as well. Getting the access because all those traps are turned off. Um, yeah. Seen some ice or something there? Uh, an operation? Nothing trashable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, getting a draw from. Unless him. you're already Kim. Yep. Hey. Yeah, that's true. Edward Kim, super strong. He made me change from uh, Blue Sun, which is very reliant on operations such <laughs> as uh, Oversight, II, and just your regular econ ones as well. Yep. Uh, I love Edward Kim. Yep. He's good fun to play. Well, what do you call him? Uh, my Dirk, I call it the Trash Kim Pack. <laughs> <laughs> <That's, laughs> uh, it's all about the trash. Yep. Combining uh, two loves, Netrunner and Star Wars, if you like. Garbage. <laughs> all right. <sure>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Levying. Back. Cool. Uh, I can't remember how many cards there were left in my stack there. Couldn't have been too many. And against Look, probably less than, less than ten. Yeah, yeah. And especially against PE, a very uh, card taxing heavy deck. Um, mm. And you really want to play that levy before it gets dire. Blitzed out of your yep, hand. That's absolutely right. Uh, if I remember rightly, that levy was in hand fairly early on. That, that that may have been in my opening hand, and I've managed to hold on to it this whole time, even again. Oh no, I couldn't have been because I got snared to to zero. You locked your hand before. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you must have drawn it just after. Yes. Okay, Very oh, and watch this that's happening with the tags. I might be um, telegraphing a little bit here. Oh, Siphon, Wanton, and Draw. So I think I'm going to compress those tags into one die, which could be signaling a lot more Siphon to come. Yeah. Uh, I haven't been keeping track of how many Siphons have been set off, but it's... I think it's been uh, I think you've three, done three so three far. So three. far. Okay. Um. <laughs> so you're up to nine, nine tags. tags. Dr. B supplying a couple of those? Yes, yep, you sure did. And I think I dropped, uh, gained one of those from an unsuccessful run from John Massonori at least as well. Um, so yeah, the math checks out. Okay, so gaining another, an extra click from uh, Joshua B, it looks like. And what are we going to do? HQ is wide open, which is dangerous against a deck running so many siphons. Ah, there it is. There it is, another yep. one. And two more tags. Putting that die up to 11. We're almost going to have to get some new, more dice. That's a D12, in case you can't tell from here. Right. Now. I feel like I probably should have killed that Jackson by now, because... Yeah, it seems like he's got... I don't know if he's really been using it a whole hmm. lot. Uh, I haven't really been keeping track of, of his draws, but it, um, it, I think it's only really there to push some traps or some econ maybe back into his deck. That Eli you knifed, uh, you know. Yep. He's got some options there to put him back yeah. into his deck, so I think it's just a safe yeah. one. And currently we don't know what that uh, DLR 
my my DLR was um, earlier. Um, still got some face mm. in archives. Oh, there's a spinal motor. Spinal motor. Um, That's my favorite console. It's in the a game. good console unless you're playing Tracy NBN or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, it can be pretty hurty. Um, like I know. With, for myself, I play a lot of. I, I do play a trace kill, uh, NBN making use deck. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't like to see it uh, across the table from me when I'm playing with Spinal Motor. But yeah, it's it's fun to use when you are playing. With yeah, two recurring credits for use on Icebreakers is great. Oh, here we go. So that was a Mushin, and he has clicked for a credit for the last last click. Okay, one two Mushin something for three advancements. So. That could be a June it bug. It could be a June bug. So on one credit, that would be a kill, I think, or at the very least, ditch all my cards. Okay, deja vu, two bucks. What are we going to go get? A siphon. Siphon? Just in siphon case. Siphon for one credit. It's... No, 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 that, that, that is a money move. Uh, it's, a, it's a filthy move, um, but it is also <laughs> the safest maneuver, because if that is a June bug, that would be death. If, yeah, if it's an agenda... It's a small price to pay, and what do we got? House of Knives. See, that would just to compound the tax. Takes a c exactly. Mm. Um, uh, you, you'd rather like I, I think it was a decent play. Um, uh, unfortunately, you didn't have a like a same old thing on the field already to be able to just trigger that uh, account yes. siphon straight away. Yeah. Um, you still spent two clicks and um, two dollars, which I made back from the siphon. Credit. Which you made back, so you net of zero, um, you're down two cards, or a card out of hand, but you um, scored a gender out of it, which is much better to be in your area, I think, than, especially being a house of knives. Yes, and we're up to 14 tags. Rolling in tags. Now, I, I guess the simply um, putting the putting some ice on HQ would, would slow that down a bit, and... Mm -hmm. Run archives because he can't res the ice unless it was a pop up window. Um, and is he, he's axing the Jackson, so that tells me that could be in fact some agendas in there. I am. Oh, Jackson going back in. And. Two face downs, or is he going to go. Uh, don't know. Decision. It's always hard decisions. Oh, psychic field. Psychic field. <laughs> Because that's going to cost him zero at worst. Yes. Yes. Uh, but yeah. That's a, a Yagara and a Dreamboat. Mm -hmm. Okay, in they go. Ah, uh, the shuffle. Did you take your card draw from Masanori that time? Um, I th think I may have already triggered that on the House of Knives okay. deal. Ah, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah of course it was yep. still the same time. I'm losing, I'm losing track because you've got too many clicks. I know, so many, so many clicks. And the, the te Team Covenant click trackers make it super easy to keep track of them. Uh, I am in love with these click trackers. They are really great. Yeah. Um, the, the bonus clicks as yep. well on top of yep. that. Just really, really, you know, yeah. really smart thinking. Yeah, I really like it. they did a really good job on it. It, you know, adds more to the, uh, the flavor of the game. Well, I mean, like, it, it's... You know, you can see the the, the older click trackers um, that Daryl's got, which are still amazing, like the the ones supplied with the game. And having that wear on them just sort of is a little bit intimidating. Just like, man, this guy's, you know, how long have you been playing for sort of thing? Like, yeah, yeah, it, it's like a well-worn shoe. Um, but <laughs> It's seen a thousand mm -hmm, miles. Exactly. But the, the Team Covenant ones... Not having to worry anymore about whether you're up to first, second, third, fourth, or whether you're into your bonus clicks or not. And someone just stealing your John uh, Masanori. Yes, uh, <laughs> I th think that may have been Nick who um, won one of the. Uh, d he won the Guff uh, conquest. conquest or yes, that's right. Yeah, so he's, yeah, he's got yeah. a super buy when that when the regionals come up for that. Um, he's not a fan of Netrunner, unfortunately. But he's doing it wrong. <laughs> you know, each each their own. Um, yeah, yeah, it's understandable. It, it was interesting seeing uh, Doomtown kicking around this week. The first first week that it's been at um, the the Guff Mega Infinity Super League, whatever yep. it's up to now. 
Uh, 2.0. 2.0, 2 yeah. Um, yeah. It's been getting a lot of positive buzz, Doomtown. Love the theme of Doomtown, just like the whole Western thing. And, the, like, the yeah. whole weird, yeah, weird cool. West. Weird yeah. West, yeah. The ghost rock. I think that's... Yes. It, it, uh, it doesn't grab me as much um, as the other games mm. do, but it's, yeah, it, it is a cool... Uh, a cool theme around it with the you know you, you, you send your dudes and your posse out into the town and you uh, have a shootout which is pretty cool yeah. I like that idea it, is uh, is all the combat done with poker hands or is that something else uh, that... I'm not entirely sure but I think it, it to a degree it is mm. you, you draw your cards you, you draw your, your um, like your shootout hand or whatever yeah. and then Whoever has the higher hand goes first or something like okay, that. Okay, so we got four points of agendas into archives, zero credits, no Jacksons on the board. Get that gear hands in. Yep. Okay, two clicks. Do you say, is, is it gila hands or gear hands? Uh, or gyla hands? I say healer hands. Oh, healer. Yeah, I'm, ah. I'm pretty sure that's... I don't know. I so, Someone in a podcast probably said it once, healer hands... And they probably went into some long thing about this is actually how it should be pronounced because of blah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I score the healer hands, <laughs> taking a, a deja vu, and then out comes that. There's no money to be spent on the who's a doobie on the side game. So mm -hmm. I. Straight up to six straight points. Up six points, yep, last click, draw. Okay. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. What I, I do believe Daryl is running one scorched earth in this oh, deck. So that is terrifying. Um, yeah, I do believe he is. Okay, so install onto HQ and two more credits. What is going to happen here? Yeah, that. It seems like you, you've really taken the control over this game now. Um, mm. Just well, you're on six points. He's on what zero? He's on a Jackson. Yes. Um, it, it, it's a very and controlling... E well, it, it controls through Econ Denial, um, the deck. Exactly. Well, we've seen Siphon five, six times now. Yeah. And, uh, By the number of tags you've mm -hmm. got. Um, yep, Eater's is back, and it's going to go HQ. Now, I'm assuming that Eater went down... I see, I know. That Eater went down more just as protection if that ice got rezzed, if there was some nasty subroutines on it. If it doesn't get rezzed, I get the yep. access. If something nasty were to happen... I can get out of it with the money, but I don't get the access. Well, I, I access mm -hmm. zero cards, technically. So we're going back in, two accesses, and nothing so far in HQ. Last click. He's running but that Neural EMP. Yeah. Uh, if you had hit a snare, mm -hmm. yeah, that would have been nasty. That would have been real bad. But he cannot pay for a snare, so there's that. Well, that is that. And I think I forgot to trigger Don Mastodon on that first HQ run, and for my last click, I have taken a draw. Yep. Okay. Which is a safe bet. Very. It's a very tense game, um, because like you, you never really know what's going to happen out of Jinteki. So I think we're. Is that four or five credits? Five, yep, five. Yeah. Five credits. Daryl's on. So Snare Taking is three. alive and terrifying. As well as Eli. Okay, so one, so it's four credits to get through with the Corroda. Mm -hmm. So two from Cerebral. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, two to break. Yeah, Spinal. Spinal, spinal modem. And drawing a card from John Masanori. Way to not forget that. And accessing nothing. Oh, actually, I think it may have been, may have been an agenda. An agenda? Yep. He's scooping. He, otherwise, yeah, <laughs> yep. I'm um, pretty sure I heard myself just say GG. Yeah, I think I heard that as well. Well, that was yeah, pretty uh, pretty controlling from Mac, which is to be mm, expected. That is that is some net runner. Yeah, well done, well done, man. That was a good game. Thank you. Well, poor Daryl. Uh, yeah. Not, not seeing what he yeah. wanted. Uh, I've I have been on the other end of that siphony controly style of deck before and it is it is heartbreaking just not it being is. able to res your eyes not being able to get money not being able to advance cards it, it really is a soul crushing style of play um i think i'm probably going to mix things up for next week of the league um just you know try and get some of those achievements maybe go for the 
the open hand one, get those five points. Yeah, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think we're discussing just now the siphon for one credit. Um, uh, I, I yeah. legitimately thought it was cerebral override was one credit. Um, I was confusing that with Junebug. Mm. Yeah, anyway, thanks for chatting with us and um, look forward to seeing you in future weeks at the at the Guff League. Um, hopefully some of the, the viewers out there will come in and check it out if they, they're looking for a, a local store to play at. Um, Guff is super friendly and super fun. Great tables, great lighting, great people, great games. Uh, I don't know what else you can ask for. You got anything to add there, Kuso? Um, no, I think you've said it all. We're... Um... More than happy, like I said before, more than happy to take people on and teach games and just have fun. So, yeah, come on down when you can. Awesome. Okay, thanks for your time, and, um, yeah, see you around. You too. See you, man.